there's not much on this table. <laughs> so it kind of suggests to me that it's quite a simple person. I can tell from its nose it's quite worn out and the ears missing. Looks like it's been pulled out. Someone who has anger problems maybe that's torn off the ears. And Fight Club is actually one of my favourite movies as well. Gathering that this is quite a deep person is a bit of a thinker. They have a lot of time on their hands. It looks like roadkill. I'm guessing it has something to do with like styling and hair. Wintery looking hat. Smells quite nice. Well, I can't tell whether it's a male or female, it's sort of in between, but it's a nice smell, which means the person cares about how they smell. Now, this shade suggests to me that this lady is a bit of an exhibitionist, that she likes to have nice pink lips to show off to all the men, I guess, she meets. It looks a bit worn out, so I'm guessing it is their security blanket. I'm guessing the person is quite sensitive. High top, is that what they call it nowadays? It's quite worn out as well. So I had it for a while. Something to do with movies and an interest in film, writing scripts possibly, does look a bit rank. So it might have been there for quite a while. They don't just do hair and makeup, they also do costume design maybe. Pills. Go out a lot on the razzle and they need ibuprofen because they usually have a hangover. I don't know too much about fashion, but I know this is bad fashion. Looks like something uh, my grandma would wear. Then you've got yearbook finished in 2014 from Uxbridge High School. Maybe uh, it was the best time uh, in his life. He misses his friends. S and M, which means the, the person is rather feisty. This is an inner demon. It looks like a small baby's toddler tart, or is this someone who has children? I would say it's a teenager set in their own ways, homely, on the lazy side perhaps, but very sort of loyal to the country. I feel like they're quite like a career orientated person. Early 20s, mid 20s, maybe pushing early 30s. They're very successful in what they've done. 17 year old who is into his art, very creative person, bit of a rebel as well. A uh, woman has a feisty edge. She tries with fashion, but she doesn't always get it right. Probably a bit of a Bridget Jones in her 30s, single, going out, but she's got responsibilities. At the same time, she knows how to have a good time. Uh, hi. 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 Uh, hello. Oh, okay. right, nice to meet you. That was interesting, but that's okay. I'll get it all the time. What, the toilet tart? No. <laughs> So was I right? <laughs> kind of. Well, this wasn't a gift from my parents. I made it in year three. You were actually pretty spot on with okay. a lot of it. I first watched this when I was 12. Okay. Um, probably not the best thing considering it says 18 yeah. right there. <laughs> it's the film that actually made me want to become a filmmaker and not just oh, watch wow. films but make them. I am definitely into hair but I'm not a hairdresser. That It's a big thing like in the black community. Just got to a point where I was like okay I've been braiding my hair, styling my hair. There's a point where I don't want to do my hair and then I thought, get a wig. I've grown up in a house of females, yeah. only guy, so I've got a lot of feminine influence in my life. This is basically just accessory. <laughs> it's just my girly perspective. Golden girly? <laughs> no, not golden girly. When you talked about career driven, definitely um, spot on. I actually went out clubbing on yeah. Christmas Eve okay. and I ended up in Camden so we get to the club and it's closed and we don't have enough money to travel back and because it's Christmas day and it's bank holiday yeah. there's no trains, shot. there's no buses and I had to walk nine and a half hours in these shoes. I had a dog called Sheba, it was a German shepherd. My mum gave it away when I was young so when I came home she gave it to the builders and I kind of locked myself in my bedroom. Um, cried for hours. You were spot on with that one, literally every yes. weekend. I'd get a hangover bar. I need these handy and if I don't have them I would literally die. Because I went to a Halloween party as Wednesday Adams and I love her character because she would be my spirit animal. I was yeah. well off. <laughs> I was working in an office, a call centre, and it used to get quite hot. And back in the day I didn't wear deodorant. I had a little meeting with my manager. He said, I don't know how to say this, but there's a bit of a smell coming. Because he was really awkward about it, it made me even awkward. And so from that day onwards, I always wear deodorant. That's from those days, isn't it? <laughs> it still is. It's the same one. <laughs>
You got the age thing right, which people never get by looking at me. So that was pretty spot really? on. Really? Oh, okay. Mid twenties, then you went off and went to thirties. I thought, okay, no. I'm not religious myself. Mm. But my sons were brought up religious by their dad, so they always wear this. I'm in my mid-30s, I'm single, but I do have my responsibilities in that I've got my kids. Oh, um, I think it's taught me that there is always a story behind things and you should never just assume, never assume. Well, I've definitely learned not to jump to conclusions. <laughs> and even though things may look the same, and they look connected that they might not actually have any relevance to each other at all. On the whole, I'm a pretty good judge of character. Mm. Is that Bridget Jones? Okay. Well, that's debatable. No, not Bridget Jones. Did you like this video? If so, then connect with us on our social media.